In the last video, we created the set parent method, object created a generic method, and then a code.ui testing extension class for the extension method to perform click operation. So we created these stuffs in two different classes. And now our quest is to reduce the number of lines of code from five to just two. So let's put it all together then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide or comment all these codes so that I don't want to see this once again. I'm just do control KC to comment this code. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this class inheriting the base code.ui test class. I can just do like this. And once I have inherited, I will have all the methods available in my this class as well. So the first thing which I need to do before performing any operation is to set the parent. So I'm going to call the set parent method and this expects me to pass the window name and the window name is nothing but my employee app. So once I set my parent, the next thing which I need to do is to perform a click operation in the refresh button. And that's the first thing which I'm going to perform in this video. So for performing a click operation in the refresh button, we need to somehow create the object as we did in our videos before. So we identified the button and then we set the search property of the button and then we perform a click operation. So here, since we have the object creator method, which is a generic type, I can perform the same operation in any control. So I'm going to call this guy object creator. And here for the type, I'm going to pass win button. And now since it is a generic type, it will automatically convert all of them into win button. That's the beauty of generics in C sharp. And the property type I'm going to choose this time is name. And the identification value is going to be refresh. And then I need to perform a click operation. And as you can see, the object creator is going to return me a win button type. So I'm going to just perform a click operation. There we go. So this is going to click the refresh button. I'm going to save this code and then I'm going to just execute this test and see how it works. So I'm just going to right click this and hit run selector test. So this should click the refresh button. There we go. So this has performed the operation much easily than compared to our previous code.